Hey there, everybody. My name is Kitam. Welcome back for another video of I Am Your President. We're back for some more boys. Back into this uh, really good game. Uh, for the first part, we re I really enjoyed playing this game and stuff like that. I think I, I have all the points available right now, but I don't really have anything to do with those points uh, per se. I can't go for any of these two projects. So for now, uh, we're just going to have to let it go, boys, and move on to the next... A uh, guy that wants to talk to us, I guess. We're into the next day, I believe. Society, everything seems to be going alright. The society itself, I think, not too good. But since we're in winter and stuff, there's a big blizzard. It went down big time for all of our stats. Hopefully, everything's going to be alright, though. Let's see what this guy wants really quick. So, uh, I thought I won't make it here. Alright, so, yeah, I've, I've just received a report. That's kind of awful, yeah. Big storm in the outside, boys, and stuff. It's a complete disaster. Snow is literally everywhere. This must be a winter of the century. Yeah, so they said winter is coming. I did not believe them. What a foolish I was. Well, uh, is this actually the, so bad? Uh, are you kidding? Roads are impassable. People are stuck in their homes. There is even was a kid buried under the snow. His parents could find him for hours. What? How is that even possible? You're in the United States, aren't you? Well, I guess they're not, uh, they're not used to snow like that, I guess. But God damn, this is just normal every day, uh, for Canada, boys. Snow like that. Uh, did the kid die? Uh, so what, uh, what should we do about all this? Well, how can I help you exactly? Yeah, I'm not a meteorologist, but, I mean, I want to ask, though. Did the kid die? I want to be careful, uh, I want to make sure that the... Like, I want to make sure everything is, go, uh, is good. No, it turned out he made uh, a, a Niglu and kept playing games on his smartphone. He came out when the battery died. Okay, so the kid is alive. And that went up. That put me up right there. Uh, makes sense. All right, so you almost gave me a heart attack. Well, that was highly irresponsible of him. What a brat. Oh, my. I'm not going to say that. All right, so it makes sense, I guess. We have also other options, I believe. No, okay, so it makes sense. We have to think of a solution since um, now we don't have enough resources to take an appropriate action. Yet we do not want Americans to turn into polo bears. So what is uh, what I propose is that we should invest in some development strategies to protect ourselves against the, this disaster. As well as those that are yet to come until that. Okay, so we have to make sure that our citizens are safe. I will put some money to development. So money is obviously going down. It's going to go down development as well but uh, people the people are going to be safe or i can just say i like polar bears ignore the whole thing that i think that's the wrong thing to do i think you should be prepared uh for snowstorm boys you should have towing trucks you should have all these things ready the right equipment and everything so uh i guess do do i invest uh, do i have to invest in anything yeah, why should I have invest? No, it's just an option, but it can't prevent it, it can prevent some other disasters or help us improve our public image. It's your call. Well, I'm going to make a decision. I will hopefully choose the right thing. All right, so I will look into it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make decisions. Wonderful. So people are nervous. Could uh, could you please address them so that they know what they do, not freeze up, and that everything is going to be fine. Okay, let's uh, sure. I'll uh, I'll go talk to them. All right, so end the meeting. I'm gonna reassure them. We're gonna put some stuff. I, I don't know if I actually put some uh, resources into it, but I uh, will. What is this Twitter? Holy! All right, so I guess freezing, icy, cold, polar. I don't know, boys. What does that mean? Is it are these things gonna go up or down? I'm just gonna, I guess I'm gonna get, I guess I'm gonna say freezing. The White House is secured and soon the country will be as well. Do not open the windows though. Okay, so I see it's kind of, I don't know, I don't like this one. Wood in my fireplace is nightly crackling or no warmer. I suggest you light your fire as well. Okay. Cold is literally a bastard thing to say, so we're not gonna do that. Polar, I just really love polar bears, you know. Ah, fuck it. Let's just do that. You know. I, I don't know I don't know why that's uh, that's just funny that is just plain funny to me boys let's just do that one 
Why not? No polar bears in the refrigerator. I'm doing fine. We need uh, who need their fingers anyway. Alexa, stop typing now. <laughs> okay. Can someone pull me out of the polar bear's jaw? I just wanted to take a look. Thanks. That's interesting. Yeah, that's pretty weird. All right, so phone guess we're literally in Twitter right now. So this is a thing, I guess. Twitter is a thing now. All right, boys. Watch out for Elon Musk, boys. He's, he's watching us. So we've got a brand new email. Let's see what we got right here. We've got some development strategies as well. Let me look at my mail. Shame on you. So I have to ask, is your art as cold as the weather outside? Because here in Aberdeen, Washington, uh, there was not a single warning about the blizzard. You and the, your government did literally nothing to save us. This morning, I woke up to find my wife and my five-year-old daughter frozen in, your ba in our back war backyard. I simply collapsed seeing them covered in snow. Empty, died, and dead? Oh my. Now I just sit here in the porch waiting for the ambulance, not knowing if it even reaches this part of town anymore. And I blame you. Look, you should blame somebody else, my guy. To be honest, it's not my problem. I'm gonna reply. Sympathetic, ironic, er, uh, earth, uh, artless. I'm gonna be ironic. You know what? I'm gonna be ironic. In this situation, I think it's his problem, not mine. You're living in. Okay, you'll see, you're living a little bit in the south or whatever. You're not ready for snowstorm? That's your problem. You should always be ready for disasters. Where's your bunker, my guy? Where's your thing? Fuck is your. Uh, that's all on you. Alright, step one let your wife and daughter go outside during the worst snowstorm this country has ever seen. Exactly. Step two, lament and blame your president because they're no they're now frozen to the bone. Step three, profit. Maybe this funny message from your commander in chief commander in chief is some kind of profit. I don't know. Funniest president ever. Let's do that. Let's make fun of him, boys. That was really funny, Mr. President. Thank God my wife and kid are fine. Because if they were really dead, your joke would be just be, uh, just be cruel. Can you believe I totally forgot that she divorced my, uh, uh, she divorced my, okay, I guess me, and took my girl uh, away last year because I allegedly can't hold my liquor. Okay, see, see, he was doing a joke, boys. He was doing a joke, and I did, uh, I did the right thing right there. Okay, so we got some archives as well. What is this? Secretary of Rotation? What does that even do? Uh, oh, Secretary of Rotation. Okay, never mind, boys. So uh, we got to replace obviously the one that uh, is pregnant right now. So we have just learned that our uh, is pregnant. Yes, I already knew about that. Your car. Okay, so now those uh, are all the things that were already in my mail and stuff. Okay, we got some news. Prolonged home alone season. Americans stuck in snow. I can't. I still can't believe that these guys, the Americans, are not ready for snowstorms. They're still kind of in the north. Especially we saw those that are like uh, Washington, New York, Vermont, all these guys in the north, Michigan, Illinois, they're right near Canada. They're on the borders of Canada, so it's kind of makes it's kind of weird that they're not ready for snowstorm, boys. It's weirding me out a little bit here. All right, well, how about uh, development strategies? So uh, you can see development. So. Uh, this might require some time to research, but the payoff makes the time quickest. Yeah, way to boost your statistic. Okay, good. So, see what's compatible. So right now we only have weather crisis center. Okay, all right. So we only have this one for now, but it uh, looks like it's like a skill tree of some sort, boys. I love that. So we got the weather uh, weather crisis center. I guess plus 10, t uh, plus 10 to all stats. Use the miracles of modern technology to quickly defuse any weather crisis. Yes, we'll do that. So I'm not sure how much turn that is. I think that's just one turn, right? Yeah, that's just one turn. That takes... How much is that? 50? That's 50 mil or 50 bucks? I think that's 50 mil, boys. I'm pretty sure. All right, that's about it. I don't have anything else that we can do. Now I think we're good boys, so let's just keep on going. Is there okay there's a girl right here wanting to talk to us? Let's see what is this? Miss Allison, who is this? How are you feeling today? We you mean you and me? 
uh, 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 as the great William uh, Shakespeare once said, who the hell are you? Exactly. Oh, sir, don't be so defensive. Anyone call, uh, calls me uh, Miss Allison. So you can call me that as well. I am uh, most of all a human being, but a self-improvement coach. I'm here to help you. Get the fuck out of my place. Ain't nobody need a self-improvement coach. What is this? What is actually your job, ma'am? Stop bullshitting me. I don't need help, and you and you look at it, and you look and sound like a total fraud. Yeah, exactly. Uh, why do I? Who told her I needed help? No, you know what? You sound like a fraud to me. Get the fuck out of my place. What is this? It's your opinion, and I accept that. You see, I'm not defensive, and. I, uh, uh, or scared because I know who I am and I know my value. I can help you leave this comfort zone you found behind this desk. Don't you feel stuck sometimes? Don't you want to stand up and leave? No, I don't. I've got shit to do. I can't. I can't even move uh, one inch. Like I'm a prisoner of my seat. No. No, I'm perfectly perfectly fine. Now leave and stop wasting my time. What the hell is wrong with you, woman? What is this? Our right, both diplomacy and politics are going down. I don't give a fuck. I've never seen this much denial in my life, Mr. President. Before I leave, please think about what I say. Uh, what I, uh, Don't you feel completely stuck sometimes? It's like you're st so fixated on your job, your desk at your office. Bit okay, you know what? This is my job, literally. I'm just doing what I, I'm supposed to be doing. What you want me to do? Just sit all day and tweet on Twitter? What the hell, man? What's wrong with you? You know what? Actually, help me out a little bit. Now I'm starting to see things from a slightly different perspective. Sorry I called you a fraud. Goodbye. You know what? I guess so. Diplomacy. Okay. Went up. So we can look around. Now you've regained a near total control of your body. Press uh, control. Let's move your head and look around while pressing it again. Again centers your view on what really matters. You want me to press control? Okay, so when I press control, I can look around. I, there's only so much I can look around for, though. I'm not sure. What is this room exactly? Okay, I guess it doesn't do anything, to be honest, boys. Yeah, there's nothing really. Uh, let me look at the news really quick. So, a ray of hope or yet another red hearing? What is this? The face of war seems to be a uh, uh, expression. The narrative of the lesser evil has always permitted discourse. Armed conflict? Alright. Who gives a shit about that, boys? That's not important. Alright, what about the threats? So I'm a headmaster now. Interesting. Okay, so I don't, I don't really have anything else going on. I think everything's good. We can end the day, boys. Vanity Fair. 280 days. So that way we... Uh, seven days passed by since the last time, boys. Let's keep going right here. Got some development strategies that's been unlocked. So Afghanistan, Afghanistan crisis. Oh, we got a new map event, boys. Something going on in Afghanistan all over again. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so what's going on in Afghanistan? First off, uh, I think first off I want to see. Okay, so open event window. Okay, let me just see what's going on in Afghanistan. I'm worried here. This is not a good thing. Last time we went to China, we did uh, help out Taiwan with some military exercises with nukes and stuff, missile exercises uh, near their borders, which uh, basically is back them out, uh, back, uh, making them back out. Let me just see what's going on here. A new radically anti-American group is emerging in the Middle East. Their guerrillas are targeting our local oil reserves. Send large reinforcements to take the war to them. No, I'm not going to declare war to Afghanistan, boys. I think that's not the way to go right now. Uh, we got to be aggressive, but I don't want to go and do way too aggressive. All right, I, wanna, I don't want to be uh, Mr. Bush, you know. Uh, concentrate units on the um, endured, endangered areas. Focus on defending the oil supply network. Is it here I don't intervene or I should probably... Intervene a little bit Like I should use my military a little bit, but I'm gonna defend I'm not gonna attack I'm not gonna declare a war per se. I'm just gonna defend what I've got Brilliantly, but I'm, not, I'm gonna let them do their thing 
But if they come towards my supplies, which the things that belong to me per per properly, I will defend those. So spend some military into that. There we go. Spending some resources, boy. The boys here and there. Radical treatment. They should keep them from mess uh, this should keep them from messing with our oil. There we go. Alright, so we uh, we made some decisions, boys. Let's see what we got. Some uh, some news. So, per, uh, perfume Messiah documentary to hit film fix. Got you. Got some new te uh, development that we can do now. So we can do business bailout found, which plus 60, 75 industry, but society goes down. Social safety safety net uh, network boys. Uh, Maslow had a point. Okay, I guess. Or foreign influence budget. All of these are giving us a lot of society. They're giving us some bonuses and, uh, and whatnot. What's the one that I need the most? Kind of society and politics. And that's going to take about a turn, uh, one turn, I believe. Not too sure. I think it's going to take a turn. Okay, let me see who wants to talk to us really quick on this day. So what do you want? Uh, have you checked the calendar recently? Uh, why do you ask? The Super Bowl is coming. Who gives a shit? And why are you so excited about this? For me, it's all about hockey, man. Ain't nobody have time for Super Bowl. Uh, well, I have to tell you, sir, that I'm a great football fan. But anyway, we're, uh, we have to think of, of our pre PR strategy. What, uh, what strategy? Our, our strategy. Are you sure about that? Yes, you, sir. Our, sir. This is the most watched television broadcast and you have to uh, have an opinion on the matter. Actually, I don't have an opinion. And what should it be? So it happens that uh, I already have an opinion. Alright, so what is your opinion? If I may ask, Mr. President. I love football as much as you do. I would like to take a part of the event. Now, that would bring us up completely up in terms of society. But to be honest, I want to be myself here, boys. I don't give a fuck about Super Bowl or football. I've never watched those. I don't even watch the the uh, the mid uh, the mid time events. So ain't nobody have time for this shit. I'm only watching hockey. Hockey is the best sport in the world, and uh, make it change my mind, boys. So I like uh, I like watching sports. I would like to participate in this event. I don't enjoy watching people running after a ball. Exactly. That's kind of dumb and stupid. I'm not into that, boys. Uh, that's great, Mr. Brent. Since it's also an opportunity to show uh, your best before the election, I suggest that we air a spot during uh, the Super Bowl. I literally told him that I don't enjoy the the sport, and he's telling me, "Oh, that's great news." What the fuck are you talking about? All right, uh, wouldn't it be like super expensive? Exactly, that would be expensive. I I don't. You know what? That would kind of be expensive to to do the election thing. It would be expensive, would it? So yeah, my economy is going up because of that. Well, yes, but in my opinion, it's really forfeit. Americans will love it. Also, there is the other thing. You could just leave it be and let the director create the ad or you could start in it yourself. This is a horrible idea. I would, ne I would do neither of those things. No, I'm not going on public. Fuck that. I'm not even do. I, I don't want even to have anything to do with the Super Bowl. I want to let the people know that the Super Bowl is not, is no shit, boys, and it's not worth our time. I should let them know. Now in this south, they're gonna secede all over again, boys, just because of Super Bowl. Let, just watch them. It's gonna be Coca-Cola Coca -Cola affair all over again. But I don't give a shit. I'm not doing any of those. Economy is going up. The politics and the society went down. I don't give a shit. Understand? Then I will find other ways to promoting you during the Super Bowl. You find whatever you need to find, my guy. I don't give a shit about the Super Bowl, boys. I'm not like investing anything into that. The economy is gonna keep going up. All right, that's all that matters to me. It needs to go up because our budget needs to go up, boys. So uh, nothing else going on. I guess we're ending the, the, this day right here. 278 days. Two days later, I guess. Fusiad of questions. Let's see what's going on here. So new development strategies. Of course, we got some news. Uh, you are the uh, 100,000 visitor. You have just won a free iPhone 8. Yeah, right. This is not a joke you won. Get the shit out of my face, this pop-up, boys. 
like I was gonna get uh, 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 screwed over by that. So, low uh, landing was real, uh, but the moon was fake. Okay, the new conspiracy theory, which is changing online lately, claims that landing on the moon was very real, but the moon itself was really fake. Okay, I don't get it, boys. Now I really don't get it. How is the moon uh, fake when you land on it? I don't get it, boys. Alright, so tarnishing your face. So, Mr. President, I just wanted to follow you, uh, uh, follow up on our pro uh, previous conversation. I've looked into and the items here um, bearing your image are being produced by a small company from Vietnam. They specialize in various gadgets and numerous gifts items and sending US a package, uh, us a package with these products uh, was their attempt at creative marketing. Quite successful I might have since our cleaning staff uh, thought it would be a good idea to distribute these items all over the White House. And while I agree that drinking from a president, uh, presidential plastic cup is quite amusing, I think that imprinting your face on a roll or to of toilet paper was going a step too far. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. I'm not sure. I've made sure to remove all the items. However, I was unable to determine the exact person responsible for putting these rolls in the White House toilets. Very interesting, boys. That's kind of funny a little bit. All right, so what do we want to invest in uh, next, boys? We got uh, closely tied. So this, since the social safety net uh, was done, uh, we went way up in terms of society. That did bring us uh, down a little bit of industry. Industry is kind of going down a little bit. We need to bring this up a little bit. This is the businessman after all. Uh, closely tied, that would bring a lot of politics up, which would be great for a part. Uh, that's uh, basically our political party. How popular it is and stuff. Or in an, uh, our economy would be all the way down though. To closely tied. Uh, offer US help and advice to every nation that needs it. Strings uh, attached. Of course. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. I think I'm more of a isoli uh, isolationist uh, type of guy. So we are going to do uh, unlocks planet recovery plan. Oh, planetary change calls for global action. You know what? International eco network. I think we should do that. More diplomacy. Industry is going down a little bit. I can live with that. That's going to take two turns, but uh, definitely want to live with that, boys. It's important for the uh, the planet to be secured a little bit more. Let's go a little bit more green, boys, on them. All right, let's see what we got as we enter a new day. We're moving kind of fast here. Good, ma uh, good morning, this is something I'm wanting uh, for you behind the door right now. This is a journalist from the USA Tomorrow magazine. And she wants to interview you. Uh, since this is one of the most popular newspaper in the world, uh, co whole country, I suggest that you talk to her. Uh, what does she want to talk about? Well, I'm tired, I don't feel like talking. No, what does she want to talk about? Well, she wants to know about your attitude towards Super Bowl. Well, clearly I don't like it. I've already told you what I think about it. Is this the stunt by you? This is clearly you putting a stunt right here. I'm telling you. Later in, I do not wish to hear about Super Bowl ever again. Leave me out of it. All right, get me out of this shit, man. I don't, I don't care about Super Bowl. I don't stand. But she, she said that she would write on an article anyway. But in that case, I will talk to her. I don't care what she writes about me. All right, I don't care what she writes about me. She can write whatever she can write whatever she wants. Media's not gonna hurt me. All right, media is just fake news, boys. Fake news. They can't say shit that's gonna really hurt me. All right, there, it's just it's just messages in the air. I'm not gonna talk to the media. All right, so planning a day off. Finally, we got some new mail. Two hundred and seventy-eight. So that's six days later. Uh, let me see my mail real quick. Interview update. So, I just wanted to say that I was pretty upset uh, about not having the opportunity to, opportunity to interview you. I have decided to write an article anyway. It will be published soon after the Super Bowl. As you can imagine, this may not be the most favorable text. I don't give a fuck. Write what you want, lady. You think I care? Oh, there's uh, something else right there. Okay, hold on. This is not the same person. Uh, the deputy assistant, okay? And next week, you are scheduled to give a speech for your university's uh, 200 anniversary. Oh, that's uh, some good stuff. 
However, I've just received a list of this year's guests and your appearance is going to be followed by this guy, I guess. An infamous comedian and professional provocateur. Okay, what about it? Who cares? Perhaps it's not my place to dodge, but could you reconsider participating in this event, given the proximity of the next elections? He's an unpredictable and unreasonable man, and I'm worried that he's going to follow your speech with some controversial comments, potentially tarnishing your image. Uh, cancel the Mi uh, cancel Miko? How about we just cancel him? Cancel him out? You know what? How about you just cancel this guy? As uh, I'm surprised to see that the organizers would display such carefulness. If they're not doing their job, perhaps we need to nudge them a little. Contact the office and tell that while I won't be sharing the, the stage with this man. Is there either me or Miko? Uh, you know what? No, let's disagree. I think you're worrying too much. Let's, let's send a message. I disagree. I'm not gonna cancel it. That would be against democracy right there. I think it's against democracy to cancel anybody, boys. So we're just gonna let it be. We're gonna let it be. We're gonna let it, both of us go at the same time. I don't go. I don't care what he tells. Like I said, whatever, whoever wants to st uh, make, if you want to make fun of me, make fun of me. It's all likes and jokes, boys. It doesn't matter. We don't need to worry about any of that. We can laugh with him alongside of him. That's gonna make the people uh, love us. I mean, come on, man. We gotta see it for the uh, for holidays. It's normal. All right, what does he want again? All right, so good morning. I am here to tell you today is uh, the governor of California has aired one of his ads prepared for the Super Bowl. Uh, that used to be Arnold. That used to be the Mr. Big Arnold Schwarzenegger right there. But I guess I, I don't know if it's still him, boys. I know he was at one point the governor. Uh, I suppose this is bad news. And how's that supposed to bother me exactly? I'm only saying that we could have made that spot since now the governor's approval ratings are increased. Yeah, and anyway, what does that, why does that matter? I regret not doing it. I hate this man so much. You know what? Well, I regret not doing that, I guess. I don't hate the man. Let bygones be your bygones, Mr. Prince. And let's move on to more important things. Since the Super Bowl is tomorrow, you have to make a final decision. Not this shit again. It's really important for your image. Do you wish to accept the invitation or go to to Super Bowl? I do not want to watch it at all. Give me a break, man. I don't give a fuck. I give up. I won't persist. Fine. Wait, that was Jake. Yeah, there we go. Fine. Don't persist. There it is. Everything's going down. I don't give a fuck, boys. How many times am I gonna have to tell this man that I don't give uh, that I don't care about the Super Bowl? God damn! He was persistent, boys. He really was persistent. Um, the Pumas with the Super Bowl win the Super Bowl. Who the fuck is a Pumas? Okay, but it's still the American football. No, it's not. Clearly not. I don't know who it's for, but it's not for the Americans. That's for sure. All right. Last Sunday was one of a kind since it was uh, a day of the Super Bowl championship. Everything went as planned, except for the appearance of an amazing guest, the Prime Minister of Canada himself. Oh shit. Uh, sitting in the stands, he applauded all teams and went along with the crowd enthusiasm. Trudeau, what the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong with my neighbors, man? Hockey is our national sport in Canada. Hockey is the best thing ever. I mean, he goes to hockey games and stuff like that, but going to the Super Bowl, really? That, he, he shouldn't even bother with that. That's not even a sport. That's usually, literally an American sport. It's used, only in the U.S. that's uh, that's uh, it's actually a thing. So, yeah, I don't know, boys. Well, um, he applauded all the teams. The Prime Minister came down congratulating him in person. It's a shame that our president couldn't come. We, uh, will he have enough supporters to win the election after such a spectacular failure? Yes, of course I will. I will have enough support. Hey, if you love Canada so much, why did you go up there then? Live up there. God damn it, man. Alright, boys. So, you know what? I'll leave it for right now. It seems like Canada's getting the upper end on us in terms of global diplomacy. I'll look into that, I guess. So remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.